June is looking incredible, Ben. Uh, First Comics News has released the Antarctic Press June 2024 solicitations. And uh, we're, we're going to have a look and see what's going to be in the upcoming preview magazine. Uh, first, starting with... Hide that. Winnie the Pool Demon Hunter, number one. So, initially, this was going to be in Manga Z. There was a, a muck-up in Manga Z. <laughs> and now it looks like Winnie the Pooh Demon Hunter, Antarctic Press, four-part miniseries from Nicholas Mueller. Ben, talk to me. Or not. Ben. He's speechless about oh, how. Oh yeah, this is Winnie the Pooh, Demon Hunter. Oh. <laughs> well, uh, you know, it's a uh, Winnie the Pooh. Well, you know, uh, yeah, we want to make it up to Nick, and he had a really shut good up, story. Todd. <laughs> hey, bud, I'll do my bit done the way I want to, bud. Todd's can't. Todd, I don't hear Todd anymore. I'm mad at Todd. He's on timeout. <laughs> <laughs> Demon, uh, uh, demon poo. Uh, Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> <laughs> demon poo. That was me the other night, Demon Pooh. <laughs> demon Pooh. Uh, Winnie the Pooh, Demon Hunter, man, coming to Antarctic Press. Uh, this is what we're talking about, you know. Nick's got a complete story. Doesn't have to be always sexy girls. It could be a fucking murderous, rampaging Disney fucking character with a chainsaw. <laughs> on steroids. Can, on steroids. It can be these things, you know. Right, Ben? What was that again? I got cut off. <laughs> We I got are, cut we're, off. We, we're, we're looking at uh, the June solicits for Antarctic Press. And the first one on the list is Winnie the Pooh, Demon Hunter, one out of four by Nicholas Mueller. Yeah, we, uh, I mean, like I said, I, I, I fucked up and I uh, didn't, uh, uh, so, you know, the, the art, we, we, to make up for it, we just say, well, why don't we just give them the, a miniseries, you know, and uh, uh, we actually sort of glad that we did. It, I mean, I think we're getting a lot of, good positive buzz on it and we think that it'll do pretty well so well, this uh, is what i'm talking about right like when i had my arguments with level two level and shit, right it's like look man to me it doesn't matter who comes in if they're bringing something to the table because if winning the Pooh demon hunter gets more people buying antarctic press right and they're buying this book and then they're flipping through the book and they get to the back of the book and they see a nice big two-page ad for all the other ap books which includes mine and tom's and max's and scott's and sam's and whoever else that is a fucking plus. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what I want to see, man. You know what I mean? And this is how we grow. Man, we're going to grow. But it's going to be fucking like we're crawling like a baby. Like a fucking mm. baby. But we're going to get there step by step by step by step. You know what I mean? Here's another cover for uh, the, the release right here. So you guys are actually running two covers for this uh, for the for June. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like this one better. Do you like that one better? Why. I kind of like the first I one. I don't know better. why. I think this one's going to sell more. Yeah, I actually like that one. No, too. The, the other one's better. It's it's yeah. got a it's got a uh, it's got a kung fu panda vibe to it too. Yeah, he's using the thing cutting through the bamboo like that's that's a that's a dynamic cover right there. Mm-hmm. I, I I'll bet you a dollar, Larry. Oh, I think this okay. one here is good for issue one, though. You know, here's you know you just get well, nothing wrong with it. But if you're going to compare the two, I think the other one's just more dynamic. Well, let's compare yeah. to because you know who else is available <laughs> in the month of June? It's Mr. Tom Hutchinson on the panel with Critter number three in Narcilio Souza cover A here. Boom. No, that's that's the B cover. Well, they got it all fucked up. Yep, they do. Boom. <laughs> Walk me through it, Tom. Third issue yeah. already, man, in, in previous. Third issue, yeah. It's cool. It's cool. Narc- like I said, like we said earlier, Narcilio's doing all the story covers. Um, so this one, this issue introduces Tidepool, who ends up being a big bad guy later on too. Ever um, Now, did kidding. you know that these solicits were out or is this your first time seeing it? Yeah, I saw this, uh, a few days ago. I knew that it, it had popped. Yeah. Yo, Dude. Critter got back, bro. Yeah, right. I'm saying. Well, it's like, you know, they <laughs> robbed us of Rogue's booty. So, I mean, Tom had to, you know, give it back. To yeah, the well, you know, that's Narcelia. Or... Like we talked about earlier, Narcelia will give you Dick. what you need. Mm. Well, it's probably <laughs> number one. It's problematic. Number two, okay. <laughs> but, but, but is it really though? Is it? No, no. Really? Well, it, it's it's a running joke with that in, in, oh, on I the know. show. But it's look. It, no, it's something I expect to see. You know, walking out of a bodega, you know, seven at night after coming from the club. Talk to so. me about cover B, Tom. Yeah. So um, on cover B, I I decided we're going to start doing, um, you know, basically spotlighting some of the other characters. 
um because i don't want just critter on everything i want to show that this is a universe that she exists in so um all the b covers now at least for a little while will be some sort of spotlight like this so villain spotlight this is mascara she gets introduced in issue two but she's also still in issue three she's a big part of it and then issue four um we'll have a hero spotlight for charity um and that one just got turned in new artist terry parr is doing covers for me he just turned that one in that'll be part of issue four so as we go forward now narcelia will be doing st story covers and then we'll have uh, a guest artist doing some sort of character spotlights like this good idea man i like that so, it gives me a miley cyrus vibe guys i'm gonna put the diamond order code for uh for tom's book here and a couple of these other ones uh into the chat you know this is what you do you go to your local comic book shop you say hey man I want to order these books. These are Antarctic press books. Why in the fuck don't you have Antarctic press books? What's your fucking problem, man? I'm going to start right. shooting someone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Larry, you tell them. I, I, I don't know if they need to go that far, but, um, you know, let, let it be known that there are some cool books out there that you want, you know, you want shop maybe to pick up on. I can't find my chat. I might have closed it out by accident. Come to Long Island, Ben. We got tons of AP on Long Island and Queens. Awesome. Hey guys, I'm going to get back into the chat here. Just give me one second. I'll give you all the links you need, man. You guys got any questions out there? If you're still lurking, you want to ask JD or uh, Ben or Tom? Any, anyone questions but me? You're more than welcome to do that. Why, Larry? Why? 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 You know, just why? to see if anyone's got something to say before we slowly you know, wrap the rest of this up, man. You know? Well, no, I just, that's my question to you. Why? Why? Why not? Why? Okay. All right. That's fine. It's like that's both. Fine by me. You know what else is coming out? No. And he's also on the panel. Oh, shit. Ninja High School, number 195, Alfred Perez and Mr. Ben Dunn. Ben, you're closing in on that 200th issue. Talk to me about issue 195. What can we expect? <laughs> well, uh, we're going to, I'm going to do uh, some uh, story centric, uh, character driven stories, you know, focusing on the, the main characters. That's the one thing I didn't really get to do uh, when we introduced the characters. The, you know way back in 177 was to focus on the origins of these characters and uh, that's what i'm going to start doing who's the little eyeball in dude's hair that's a, a little uh, japanese ghost demon you know is she and, who's uh, going to kill it in my mini series <laughs> <laughs> just gotta step on it like a bug. just hold still kid this won't hurt i promise <laughs> i thought the little the little one on the on the corner uh, in front of it yeah i see i thought that was either something from Hogwarts or it was like an, uh, an English soccer fan going to a game. So I was like, what's going on? Now, let me well, ask you, did, actually... did Nick Webb color this? Uh, no, uh, uh, Dylan did. Dylan colored this one. Okay. Dylan Fagan, yes. Uh, he's actually a, he's actually a, a, char a Japanese manga character called okay. Gege Ge no Kitaro. He's been around since the 60s. You know, mm. he's sort of like a... Uh, a ghost hunting uh he's like a ghost hunter you know so this is my sort of like homage to that character that's fantastic yeah it's yeah. absolutely fantastic you're also on this again because now we have ben dunn uh with jim uh, falconer here uh ninjas versus aliens the trade paperback yeah i need that talk to me uh, about ninjas versus aliens ben oh well that was the series as a backup that appeared in ninja high school but it never finished in ninja high school so uh uh you know well actually speaking of stories that never made it you know i i got something to ask you here after yeah uh well and then uh 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 finally i finished it and then uh, uh, uh put it as a kickstarter and then uh what ap does a lot is whenever i do a kickstarter they like to go ahead and uh uh print while they when i print my kickstarter they also add to the print run you know and then this way they can solicit later on down the line very good very good uh also we got planet comics number 29 uh you guys still obviously looking for stories for planet comics i assume oh yes we are definitely i am definitely i'm desperate for talk story. to me about what you would like to see for planet comics man well uh, for planet i mean I've been getting a lot of hard sci-fi stories. I'd like to do more space fantasy type stories, you know, things like that. I don't get very much of those, you know, but I would love to have them. You know, something, uh, what I really would like to have is like an anchor series, 
you know, to, to uh, you know, keep the book going for a while. You know, but uh, like we did with Shaman Kane, uh, he, uh, this is the last issue that he appears in for a while. Okay. So, uh, 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 you know, I would like something similar to that where you have sort of an anchor character to, uh, uh, you know, keep the series going to have some sort of continuity. You know, but yeah, I'm always, oh, it, uh, if you have a science fiction story or a space fantasy story, you know, uh, uh, you know, send it in to me. We also have Ooh. Freakier Than Normal. You know much about this one, Ben? I have no idea about that one. That was, uh, I think that was uh, a Brian pickup. So I have no idea. I added the first one to my post. I'm like, give me issue number one. Because I just, you know, I, I, you know, it's a new AP book. It's a mini series. You know, I want to do my part. Uh, I hope I like it. It says, uh, be careful what you wish for. Don't tell me that, man. <laughs> Uh, after escaping from the alien ship, Maya prepares to use her powers against crime while Jigsaw tries to keep everything a secret so the situation doesn't get worse in shops, June 26. And, of course, we talked about this with JD, the world's finest furries, furlough number 195. Uh, so, Ben, talk to me about bringing this back. And I didn't realize there's 195 issues. What, what the hell's going on here, bro? Uh, well... We started the series way back in the early 90s, and it ran for a good while. But then in around 1999, uh, uh, there was like a big market crash, you know, for comics. And we had to uh, let go a whole bunch of people, you know. And uh, one of the editors of Furlough, uh, one of the um, severance packages we gave to them was they were allowed to continue furlough and all the various uh, furry titles that we had and uh, under a new company that they had started. So they ran it for quite some time. You know, I mean, they ran it for a long time. Mm -hmm. And uh, but then they they went out of business and uh, the the title was in limbo. So uh, we decided to go ahead and take the title back and uh did you just decide to do it and not ask anyone or did you contact these people was there a negotiation or yeah there was a negotiation we can't you know we don't, we don't do that we... <laughs> so hey, no one's using exciting comics okay we are now <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, well yeah it was abandoned so we figured no one's gonna be well, that's what I was wondering, yeah, this was essentially gonna... abandoned or did you have to go through steps to get no it, it was not abandoned it, you know we had every right to take it back you know but we didn't feel that uh uh uh, we uh, we asked the editor of the the series that we would like to have it back, and this is what we'll we'll give you in exchange for it, you know. So uh, uh, they said, okay, sure, and then we got it back. So we uh, are bringing, you know, we noticed there are not very many furry books on the comic stands anymore, and we sort of want to fill that niche. <laughs> All right, guys, if you're wondering who today's video sponsor is, look no further. It is me, Austin. It is me all along. And I just like to talk about, people ask, I like to buy Niobe. How do I get some pigtails in my life? Where do I get started? Do you have any sites? What can I do to get your books in my hands? Well, I'm glad you asked because we're going to provide you that answer right meow. So here it goes, man. The first way you can do it, and probably the best way, is to my Shopify store. You can access that, niobecomics.myshopify.com. Or you can simply go to the YouTube channel where you're watching this video now. Go to the main page and click on store. There you will see Niobe items up for grabs. Just click on one and proceed from there. Now, let's say you're an eBay buyer. You like eBay, use eBay. Well, we got you covered there, ebay.ca. USR, Niobe Comic. If you just type in Niobe on eBay, you're going to find me. I got several listings there. And on eBay, typically you're going to find the harder to get variants, a little bit of our more expensive items, and harder to find back issues. So if collectibles are your thing, eBay is where you want to go for more Niobe. Where else can you get Niobe? Maybe eBay is too expensive for you. Maybe you read on a budget. Maybe you like having books on a tablet, on a phone, read them on your PC, whatever. So get Niobe at Gumroad, niobecomics.gumroad.com. It's great for those who read on digital. We got lots of great items there. You can buy them for $5 or less. Niobe on digital, gumroad.com. Now, the other way you can get Niobe is by going to your local comic book shop. Just the other day, Niobe Birthright was released by Antarctic Press and in shops 
nationwide, worldwide. So go into your local comic shop, ask if they have any Niobe. If they don't ask them, they can order it. And if we happen to be in a time where we haven't released anything in a little while, maybe see if there's any Niobe in those back issue bins. So Niobe at your local comic book shop. But that's not all. You can go to AntarcticPress.MyShopify.com. Antarctic Press, of course, is the label that publishes Niobe. You can go ahead and buy Niobe directly from them online as well. So go ahead and give Antarctic Press, give AP some love, and ten, tell Ben Dunn I said hello. But that's not it, folks. Our major way to get Niobe, our preferred way, honestly, when it comes right down to the end of it here, is you can get Niobe on Kickstarter when we release them. We'll be doing Niobe uh, Outbreak number three in March. We'll have all the Niobe goodies that you can shake a stick at, plus Savage Sim, plus Niobe Penguina, plus more, more, more. Niobe Kickstarter. Kickstarter is where our biggest fan base is. It's where we make the most amount of money. It is what we plug the most. All those other things I went over just a little while ago, those are great if you're looking to catch up. If you're looking to get the latest, greatest, the newest issue of Niobe as it comes out, Kickstarter is the way to go. But with that being said, however you get Niobe in your life, we appreciate it. Niobe 2024 is going to be the year of the pigtail. We got so much lined up, man. It's going to be crazy. So thank you very much for tuning in to this video. Stay tuned for more videos. And just know, I'm always the sponsor, Austin. <laughs>